10 Unbelievable Facts About the Megalodon The Megalodon seems to be the stuff nightmares are made of. Or dreams if you love impressive creatures that could use you as a toothpick. Its full name is Carcaraclus Megalodon, but some shark enthusiasts just call it the Meg. Whatever name it goes by, this giant was the biggest baddie of the ocean when it terrorized the waters two million years ago. If you're afraid of modern sharks, get ready for these facts, because this prehistoric predator puts them all to shame. Before we bite into this list, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got tons of fascinating videos coming out daily on the Bright Side of Life, so be sure to ring that notification bell if you don't want to miss a thing. Number 10. The Megalodon was the biggest shark ever. We'll start with the obvious here. This shark species was the largest this planet has ever seen. Different estimates put its size anywhere from 45 up to 60 feet in length. To put that into perspective, 60 feet would make the Megalodon about four times the size of the average great white shark. The Meg weighed up to 100 tons. Again, for comparison, the T-Rex weighed a mere nine tons. The biggest shark living today is the whale shark, which can grow up to 40 feet long. So, there's really no other shark that can compare to the Megalodon's massive size. Number 9. We don't have many fossils of it today. There's currently a very limited amount of Megalodon fossils. Shark skeletons are made of cartilage, which doesn't fossilize very well. So, that means almost all that remains of the mighty Meg are its teeth which have been found on every continent except for Asia and Antarctica. Given that its fossilized teeth are everywhere, scientists have gathered that the Megalodon traveled throughout the world. Using these fossils as a guide, scientists have tried to put a picture together of what this giant predator actually looked like and how it lived. Many of the fossils have been found on Shark Tooth Hill near Bakersfield, California. This is a popular site where people can dig for teeth while wearing protective gloves. Although some shark teeth have been buried for ages, they can still be sharp enough to cut through the skin. Speaking of teeth… Number 8. The Megalodon Had Enormous Teeth The name itself says it all. Megalodon means big tooth. Most of its teeth were about 4 to 5 inches long, but the largest tooth ever found was 7.48 inches and it was discovered in Peru. With a rare size like that, these fossils can be very valuable. A 7-inch high-quality megalodon tooth can be sold for up to $50,000. But if you have a small tooth in your collection, don't expect to get a large amount of cash for it. Small megalodon teeth tend to be valued quite low. Number 7. The Megalodon Had a Killer Smile Those teeth weren't just super massive. In order to feast regularly on large prey, the Meg had an impressive set of 276 feet that sat in five rows in its mouth. Most fossilized teeth that have been recovered show a significant amount of wear on the tips, and some have had the tips completely broken off from biting on the bones of its prey. All those teeth arranged in five rows served as a backup system so that the Megalodon would never run out. As soon as it lost a tooth, another one would replace it within 48 hours. That way, this massive predator could feed his insatiable appetite and munch on prey non-stop. Number 6. It's not related to the great white shark. Another well-known and equally feared shark, although now it seems like a puny little runt, is the great white, which can be found in the coastal areas of all major oceans. Popular belief has it that the great white shark is a descendant of the Meg, but that claim has been disproven. When the first fossilized teeth of the Megalodon were discovered, they placed the mighty shark in the same genus as the great white. But fossil discoveries that have been made since show that the Megalodon actually comes from a single evolutionary line that can be traced 60 million years back to the Ododus shark. Number 5. The Megalodon Had a Powerful Bite in order to chew on the bones of its prey, the Meg needed to have a very powerful bite. To figure out how strong its bite was, a research group led by biologist Dr. Stephen Rowe conducted simulations and reported that the Megalodon could bite down on his prey with 24,000 to 40,000 pounds of pressure. As for the Tyrannosaurus rex, 
it had just 12,800 pounds of bite force, while the great white shark has only 4,000 pounds. With powerful jaws like that, the Megalodon could crush a small car in a second, though it'd probably break all of its teeth in the process. But no worries, they'd all grow back in a few days. Number 4. Its favorite dish was whales. Giant beasts have giant appetites, and the Meg was no exception. It had to roam the seven seas in order to meet its daily requirement of 2,500 pounds of food. So, that means it needed some really big prey to accomplish that goal. While it feasted on just about anything that dared cross its path, like fish, seals, and sea turtles, whales were its favorite dish. Scientists know that the Megalodon loved to eat whales because fossilized whale bones have been found with bite marks that match the Megalodon's teeth. Experts theorize that the Meg would dive deep into the ocean, stalk its prey from below, and ram the whale at full speed, fracturing its bones, shocking the poor thing, and thus disabling it. Number 3. Their nurseries have been discovered. When the Megalodon was ready to give birth, it would travel to shallow waters where large predators couldn't follow. Scientists have found several of these nurseries in the Bone Valley region of Florida, the Calvert Cliffs in Maryland, and the Gadden Formation in Panama, to name a few. And experts know these spots are nurseries because they found one and a half inch long baby Megalodon teeth there. But before your aw, how cute meter starts to go off, you should know that baby Megalodons were about six and a half feet long at birth. Even at that size, they still needed to be protected from other big sharks and whales. So, like modern sharks, Megalodon young probably stayed in the nursery until they were big enough to stand their own ground against larger predators. Number 2. It had competition. The Megalodon wasn't the only giant to terrorize the oceans. Liviatin Mavele was a sperm whale that was over 60 feet long, weighed more than 50 tons, and its 14-inch teeth were the biggest of the animal kingdom. The Megalodon and the Liviatin both lived in the Miocene Epoch. They needed massive amounts of food, and since both of them had a particular taste for baleen whales, they'd fight over prey and territory. Just imagine that epic battle! Number 1. It was top of the food chain. The Megalodon was the top predator of the ocean, until it wasn't. The giant shark went extinct 2.6 million years ago, and there are several theories as to why this happened. One of them suggests climate change is to blame. The Megalodon would swim in warm waters, but climate change would have decreased the temperature of the oceans over the years until the Meg could no longer survive in the cold waters. Another theory claims that it was increased competition from large predators that left this massive shark without any food. A 2017 study published in the Journal of Paleogeography, Paleoclimatology, and Paleoecology claims that the Megalodon met its end when its prey went extinct. This study theorizes that, with a disappearance of prey, the predator that feasts on it would go extinct as well. Since small baleen whales went extinct, it's likely that the Megalodon soon followed. Now, let's take a moment to be thankful that humans weren't around during the Meg's reign. But would you prefer that the Megalodon was still alive? Do you know any other interesting facts about this mega shark? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.